up you guys welcome back to coco valley and i am so excited to see you guys again in the new year happy new year happy new year well today i have a cool video on what you should bring to volleyball tournaments let's get right <music> a lot of different things. I have included all the things that I personally bring to tournaments that you guys should definitely consider bringing because I have played a lot of tournaments in my day. So we're gonna get into some volleyball essentials for tournaments. I highly suggest that you grab a notepad and pencil. That way you can write down exactly what I'm telling you. Okay. Number one, in my volleyball bag I have deodorant, okay? Now use the deodorant that is best for you, but always keep deodorant in your volleyball bag. You don't know how many times I have forgotten deodorant in volleyball and ended up stinking. So that way I bring deodorant with me, okay? A water bottle. This is my blender bottle. I love this bottle. I have a couple of these bottles, but bring a water bottle with you because when you do warm ups and different sets and things like that, you're going to want to take a water bottle instead of going to the water fountain constantly. Lotion. Now, this is spray on lotion. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but this lotion just sprays on really easily. I'm going to show you. It sprays on really easy and then you just rub it in. Okay, so I like this spray on lotion because it can come on quicker and it's a, it's a nice consistency. And this is called Spray and Go by Vaseline. I really like this lotion. So Spray and Go by Vaseline. Next thing on the list is to bring socks. Bring extra socks. You will need them. If your feet get really stinky or sweaty, you're gonna want some socks to change into. Definitely bring extra socks. Bring something to do. I'm a big book reader. You guys may not know this, but I love reading. I love reading books. I like reading magazines, all that kind of stuff. So I bring a book with me and this is one of my favorite books, which is Don't Sweat the Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. And this is what I bring to tournaments. I bring a book, something that I enjoy reading in between sets. That way I don't try to get bored. The most important one of all, bring snacks with you. Oranges are a great thing. They help keep up your energy, keep you energized. So I highly suggest you get some oranges or apple slices. Those are great. Oranges or apple slices are always great. Also try to get something with protein in it. So these are Think Thin protein cakes. I usually go for Lenny's or Larry's protein cookies, but these are Think Thin protein cakes. And I really like these too. So that way it is 12 grams of protein and it's only 170 calories. You can't beat that. Now this is something that you might not have, but I think it's really cute. And I've, I've had this for years. This is my change purse. So my change purse, I have lots of different change in here. I keep some dollar bills in here. Um, I keep dollar bills in here and I keep change in here. That way if there's a vending machine, I have change to go to the vending machine. So I would definitely think about getting a change purse. You don't want your chains all loose in your gym bag. Inside my gym bag, I have this little teeny kind of makeup bag, but it really has hair essentials and it has chapstick and it has bobby pins and things like that. Now, you guys don't know this, but my teammates know me as the girl who always has chapstick and lip gloss on the sideline. I don't like getting caught in mouth. I don't like my lips to be chapped. So I definitely keep chapstick with me at all times. And this chapstick is sugar cookie. I got this around Christmas time and it is sugar cookie. It's a sugar cookie flavor. And I keep chapstick with me at all times. Also, I'm gonna go through this makeup bag so you can see exactly what's in here. Keep extra hair ties at all times. Extra hair ties, it depends. When I wear braids or I have a different style, I use more hair pins. It, uh, or, I mean, um, 
I use more scrunchies. But right now I'm wearing a giant headband, so I use headbands sometimes too. But bring extra hair ties. I suggest bringing three or four because you never know when another teammate will need one and it's great to help other, other teammates. I also have bobby pins. So I got these bobby pins from the store and what I did was, you know they come in the long strip, I just cut off half of the strip so that way I have a lot of bobby pins. You're going to need more than one or two, maybe three, four or five. So keep some bobby pins with you because you don't want flyaways or if you have bangs, you don't want your bangs getting in your face to distract you. For the girls out there who have natural hair, which is like mine, I bring some hair moisturizer for me. So that way I can slick those edges and keep the flyaways out of my face. And this is Carol's Daughter's Hair Milk. This is the mini one. So I keep this mini hair milk with me at all times. I have one in my purse too, just in case I need some moisture and or if my hair is really dry, because you can feel when it's dry. And then I have some lipsticks, lipsticks and things, but you guys know I love lipstick and that is not mandatory. Now also, make sure to bring your volleyball shoes. Have your volleyball shoes. But I also have these, woo! I also have these shoe balls here that keep my shoes from getting super, super stanky. So I put these shoe balls in my shoes whenever I take them off and that way it keeps them kind of fresh and keeps them from getting stinky quicker because we don't like stinky shoes. And remember, volleyball shoes are only for indoors. So you need to wear another pair of shoes. I usually wear my Uggs. Another pair of shoes to the volleyball tournament that you take off between sets. Don't keep your volleyball shoes on the entire time. You wanna give your feet a chance to relax. Volleyball shoes. Now here on to the clothing items. Bring a jacket. Now even if it is hot and it's a summer day outside, you're gonna need a jacket, let me tell you why. Because those places indoors are so air conditioned. You don't know how many times I've gone inside when you're not playing and you're freezing cold. Bring a jacket, that way if you do decide to take a nap, let's say you have a game, a bye, and you guys don't play for three games, you can fold your jacket up and you can take a nap on it. What's more perfect than a nap? I love sleeping, I know you do too. Bring an extra pair of pants and suggested long pants. Bring some long pants with you. I have these long pants that I got from Walmart and they're RBX. They are very comfy yoga pants. Bring pants that stretch so you can put them over your spandex. I highly suggest that you get pants that go over your spandex because your legs are gonna get cold. Remember, we do not wanna get cold. Okay, so the rest of the things that I have with me are also very important. Bring a phone charger with you. Bring a long phone charger. Don't get that phone charger that's really tiny, <laughs> that shrinks to the wall. Get a long, I think this is a six foot phone charger. Get a long phone charger because you don't know where the outlet will be and it's really important that you have a long phone charger and you keep your phone charged. Most likely you will be away from your parents and they wanna keep in contact with you when you're away. Bring an extra shirt with you. This is one of my go-to shirts. So it says, I can't adult today, <laughs> maybe tomorrow. So I bring an extra shirt with me because you will be sweaty between, sweaty, you will be sweaty between sets and you definitely wanna change shirts. You don't want to be sweaty and constantly sticky and stinky. It's an uncomfortable feeling and I would rather you change shirts in between sets before, you know, between your jersey, that way you're comfortable. I have some KT tape with me. It's important to keep tape with you. Um, most of the time at these tournaments, there will be an athletic trainer there. The athletic trainer will be there to help you for any of your athletic injuries or anything if you have an ACL injury, a shoulder injury. The athletic trainer will be there to help you. However, it doesn't hurt to keep your own tape. I keep some of this Mueller's tape, and then I also have some KT tape. So both of these tapes are very essential in case I have an injury or a teammate needs them, so I keep some of these. Now here's a tip that you definitely, definitely need. You might not even think about this. Get you an external charger. This is my external phone charger. It actually doubles as a mirror. Now watch this, guys. This is cool. This is so cool. It doubles as a mirror and it lights up. So it doubles as a mirror, but you don't have to have one like this. But this is an external phone charger and I plug my phone into this and it charges my phone. This is so cool because when you're on the bus and you're on your way home, once again, your parents will be, wanna be on contact with you um, or you wanna be in contact with your teammates or your friends or your group chat, then that way you have something to charge your phone. Always keep your phone charged when you're away from home. 
Here's some other things, and this is for females only. Keep some sanitary items with you in your bag. Um, you never know when Aunt Flo is gonna come and visit you. You never know, unless you do know. But if you do know, always keep it in your bag. Because once again, we wanna also provide for our teammates. We're a team, we're one team, and we wanna help each other out. So keep some sanitary items with you in your bag because you never know when you're going to need it, believe me. Okay, that's all of my tournament essentials that I have that you guys should keep in your bag for volleyball tournaments. I may do another video of what you need for volleyball practice, but I really hope that you guys enjoy your tournaments. It is such a wonderful time. Volleyball, competitive volleyball is so much fun. I hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.